<laughs> Who knows what evil in the heart of game? <laughs> the shadow knows. Good evening. Time for another Let's Compare video. Tonight I'll compare Green Beret on the Atari 800XL, on the Amstrad CPC and on the Commodore 64. Okay, let's start with the Atari version. I have to say I played this game a little before starting the video because I absolutely didn't know the Atari version and I don't like it. It's very hard but that but I expected that because uh, I played the Commodore version quite a lot and this was incredibly hard too so it's not surprising. The music is okay. <clears throat> and I think the sounds are okay too. I don't like the sprites, but I think it has something to do with the limitation of the Atari machines. But to be honest, I've seen smoother scrolling on the Atari. And the jumping is just ridiculous. I don't know if it was like this on the Commodore version, but you see for yourself. It's and I have terrible problems climbing up the ladder. So I used to stay on the ground. Overall, I think the graphics are okay. But I just don't like the game. Okay, maybe I give it another try and then I switch to the Amstrad version. Which I also haven't played before. And I'm dead again. Ah, okay, game over. Let's try the CPC version next. Okay, back with the Amstrad version. This one has a title screen. Uh, and I forgot to mention, uh, the Atari version shows the, the start-up screen from the game during loading. Uh, that's unusual for the Atari, so I think I should mention that. Okay, let's see how the game plays. Okay, that was missing on the Atari. I remember that from the Commodore or something like that. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's as uncontrollable as the Atari version. And the scrolling is terrible, like most Amstrad games. But at least they have some sort of scrolling and not just uh, flip screens. Okay, let's have another try. Yes, I know, I have to rescue captive. Great. I should have taken a practice run or two before I started to, uh, making the video, but... This is even less fun than the Atari version. 
Okay, last try. Okay, I got lucky, lucky so far. I could outrun my opponents. But I don't think that's what this game is about. Running away from the opponents. Just not to get killed. But an interesting approach. And yes. The two same sprites are following me. Is this a bug in the game? With the sprite engine? Wah! No, it's not a bug. It's a feature. And I'm dead again. Okay. Okay. I don't like the unset version of Green Beret. I don't know if I more don't like the Atari version or if I don't li more dislike the unset version. Ah, I, I should demonstrate the jumping. It's a little less ridiculous, but... And this mortar thing also was missing in the Atari version. So I think... Uh, okay, both are terrible. I don't know. Maybe the answer version is a little more like the arcade. I I don't know. Maybe... Ah, uh, I wouldn't say when, which of, of both is, be is, is better. Now, let's continue the, to the Commodore version. Finally, the Commodore 64 version. That's a proper intro and it's too loud. And yes, the graphics may be ugly, but this controls so much better than the previous versions. It's still a very hard game. But you, you feel like you... It feels like you can, can make it. If you practice enough, if you concentrate enough, if you're fast enough, it feels like you're able to beat the game. The other two versions... It just seemed... You're running there, very absolutely clueless, and just push the button. And if you're lucky, you kill the opponent. If you, he kills you. And this is completely different. So if you want to play Green Beret and you don't have a Commodore 64, just, for, just forget about it. There are much better uh, games for the both machines. It's not worth wasting your time with, with a crap game. Just pick up uh, a good game. If you want to play Green Beret, play the Commodore 64 version. So thanks for watching and have a pleasant night.